bed is way higher. You, you, don't, you don't understand how high it is. I can't reach the floor from there. So. Don't let me drown. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lydia, and I am mental health videos here on YouTube pretty much every single day. And today, I'm going to be talking about the different kinds of antidepressants and my experience of antidepressants. I'm not professional, nor am I qualified to give advice. I'm simply someone with lived experience and who's currently going through mental health issues herself. Uh, I'm not training to be people yet. I'm not training to be professional. I have no intention of becoming a professional. This is my unprofessional opinions slash what I've been through in my life. Don't take this as professional advice. And if you are struggling, please go speak to your regular doctor or mental health team as they are qualified. But before I get into that, I want to put a little disclaimer here. Just because medication hasn't worked for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. This doesn't mean you should go for medication instead of therapy. You have your own life. I simply share my experience. Antidepressants, there's a wide variety of them. And I've been on a few. I haven't on every single one, but I've been on all the ones that I can take. And I'm on like the last, I'm on a combination at the moment of them. And I wanted to say that just because all the others haven't worked for me doesn't mean they won't work for you. You, it doesn't mean that you have no hope and I don't want you in any way shape or form to compare yourself to me just because I'm on this antidepressant and you're on that one it means nothing like I said medications work differently for different people the first antidepressant I went on was fluoroxetine. This is often the first antidepressant any people can go on, mainly because it is only technically, it's technically the only licensed antidepressant for under 18. With the UK guidelines, some antidepressants aren't licensed to treatment in younger people unless they're under supervision, so for example, inpatient. Fluoroxetine, for me, wasn't good. When I started it, it made me really shaky, jumpy. I couldn't go out. I couldn't do anything because I was shaking. I remember speaking to one of my teachers about it and I was just shaking and she was like, oh, stop doing it. I was like, I can't help it. Like, I, it, This is beyond my control. And the staff were very not understanding. I ended up having two weeks out and then CAMS told me to stop taking it because of how badly I was reacting to it. Another thing to put out there is I was taking the liquid form on the, the lowest of the low dose because I was under 18. Then stopped taking antidepressants for a while because I was afraid to go on them after the reaction I'd already had. I'm not going into my mental health story here, That's that is in another video. So the next antidepressant I tried was citalopram. Citalopram was an interesting one. So the lowest dose of 10 milligrams didn't work for me so it got increased to 20 and when I was on 20 milligrams when I was taking citalopram like it, it induced money it, it induced me into a very very manic state I just received inheritance money from my great granddad and honestly I spent about six thousand pound in a week and I honestly can't remember what I got I hate saying that. I, I just spent so much money and I literally can't remember what I spent it on and that's because I was just I didn't care, I wasn't thinking, I was like, oh, I want this, I'm gonna get it. I, I'd cross streets and not look for cars, I was just, I just wanted to do stuff all the time. I was busy, I was going at that thing, I was, I was, I was depressed, but I was also, and I took this for about six months. My GP stopped it, and we had the two week period, and then we switched on to Sertraline. <laughs> Sertraline and me, ooh, I reacted very badly. Again, it was one of the ones I only lasted on for a short period of time before the reaction got too bad. It made me me very suicidal. And that is a common side effect of most antidepressants. It was the first antidepressant that I actually took an overdose on. It just wasn't, it didn't work for me. Again, it got stopped after a suicide attempt. So the next medication that I tried to the best of my recollection was amitriptyline. Now, amitriptyline isn't used very often to treat depression. It's mainly used as pain relief, but there, it is an antidepressant. It's a tricycle antidepressant, which is one of the oldest forms of antidepressant. So I went on to amitriptyline at 50 milligrams. I had a very severe allergic reaction to it. And this is where it got get serious, and it was serious. Like, I had one dose of this medication. No more than one. <laughs> I had one tablet, and I ended up in resource. I don't know what ingredient it was to, and I can't remember. They did say, I just basically tricyclic antidepressants for me are a no no. This is the way they work, my body just didn't react well to it. So, then we move on to what I'm currently taking. Oh no, sorry, no, 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 we missed one. Mitazapine. Right, mitazapine, I went on, I was on that for eight months I want to say. I was on it for a very long 
period of time because to begin with it worked i was put on it to help my depression but also to help me sleep and it really helped because it did and i eventually went up to the full dose that for me which was 45 milligrams it just didn't do anything that's what got me to where i am now which is i take two antidepressants i take trazodone and venlafaxine extended release so trazodone was added after the venlafaxine so let's start on the venlafaxine when it comes to venlafaxine it's an old medication i take the extended release version i'm on 75 milligrams in the morning and 75 at night. This medication works well for me. It, it does and it has, it, it does increase my mood. What you have to remember with antidepressants is there are different kinds. There are SSRIs and MSRIs and the dopamine ones. I think that's right. I, the, I know the Venla vaccine focuses more on dopamine so that works quite well. I was then starting on trazodone because I can't go up on a higher dose on Venla vaccine now because my body just reacts really badly when it goes above like the dose I'm on now. I just, I can't, I've tried. So they added trazodone just to be have, have a little more boost to try and help increase my mood a little bit. And I've got to say, what I'm on at the moment works and when it comes to feeling depressed, yes, I still have my bad days. Antidepressant that's aren't a cure. And I know people are like, oh, you're anti-therapy and I'm not. I'm not doing therapy at the moment. I really want to. Medication works well for me at the moment and I'm pretty stable at the moment, which is what I want. My overall experience of antidepressants has been this. Even with any medication, it's a matter of trial and error. Like what works for some people won't work for other people. It's a game of hit and miss. My nan took fluoxetine and it worked well for her. My granddad takes metazapine and that worked well for him. I have friends who take venlafaxine and it works and I have friends who take sertraline and it works. Like medication works differently for different people and I think that's what I want to put as the overall message. For me it really has been a game of hit and miss quite massively when it comes to the amitriptyline. The whole research thing it's just like fucking hell one tablet. Not even like the full air but one tablet. And it did that. I just want to say that medication isn't the only option for mental health. There is therapy, there is self-care, and there's medication. For me, medication works well. For other people, therapy works well. It is just trial and error for people. Personally, I find medication very helpful. And that's why I talk about it a lot, because in my recovery, it has helped me enormously. That's not me saying, don't try therapy. By all means, try it. And I really do hope it works for you, because you know, taking medication every day, it, it, it's horrible, but sometimes you have to do things that you don't want to do. And with that, I am going to end this video here. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting me, and if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or video ideas, please leave them in the comments down below, along with any advice. If you have any advice for future videos, or you want advice, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. I can't hit it, because like, you're really far away. I just have to zoom in. I just not I felt it was my foot.